Hi, my name is Akbar Kazmi. I'm Director of Marketing for PLX PCI Express Switch product line. Today we will talk about application of PCI Express switches in SSD market, especially as it applies to enterprise and data center market. So before we get into actual uses of uh, PCI Express switches in SSD, let's go over some basic features of PCI Express. So PCI Express is a switching technology and it has gone through three generation of speed upgrades and changes. So the current speed of PCI Express is eight giga transfers per second. The beauty of PCI Express is that you can combine multiple PCI Express uh, lines into a single data port or a data pipe. So you can uh, combine up to 16 lanes, as they are called in PCI Express, into a single data port. That gives you 16 gigabyte of bandwidth. So just imagine that you'll be able to download a 25 gig file or a movie high definition movie in less than two seconds if you have other pieces together working at the same speed of course. Besides the basic bandwidth that PCI Express offers, PCI Express switches are now come equipped with a lot of new features such as DMA controllers, non-transparent bridging, peer-to-peer -peer transfer that lends themselves for very enhanced applications which allow the main CPU to run the actual application and the data transfer and moves can be accomplished by PCI Express switches. So over here on my left we have a basic uh, block diagram of a PCI Express switches, switch where you have a host talking to PCI Express switch and beneath the PCI Express switch you have multiple SSDs or any I.O. devices that you want to connect the host to connect it. Now in today's application, as you can see here, we have an SSD card, bunch of memories, SSD controller on the other side. A PCI Express switch in this card can have multiple SSD controllers connected together to the host. So this card will be sitting in a host slot. There's another form factor that is being used in SSDs, which is a two and a half or three and a half inch disk drive form factor that can also use PCI Express technology to connect to the host. The second usage is where you have dual host. Uh, you wanna have a secondary host available to support host failover type capability. So in a PCI Express switch dual host usage, you will have multiple SSD or storage devices on the south side and on the north it's connected to two hosts. The secondary host or host two is in backup mode and connected with the system and the, and the primary host through a non-transparent port, not interfering the operation of the system at all. Now the embedded features like DMA controller would allow user to move data from different IOs, such as you want to move data from SLC to MLC or MLC to hard disk drive. As the data becomes uh, less important for fast access, you can do that using the peer-to-peer -peer capability of the PCI Express, PCI Express switches that are available today from, from PLX. Here is another example of PCI Express switches in, in multiple host capability. We showed you earlier two host capability now is multi-host capability and, and PLX switches are available with multi-host capability. In this application, which is more suited towards enterprise data centers and, and, and cloud applications, where you have multiple hosts, I'm just showing two, where you have multiple virtual machines accessing the storage devices and storage system. Now these servers or virtual machines can be connected to the switch fabric using a cable. It could be op copper or optics, or it could be a backplane. Now, these hosts can be isolated using the 
the virtual host capability available in PCI Express switches. And then each virtual machine can be connected to a different SSD bank. And in case you want to move SSD from one bank or one virtual machine to another virtual machine, all you need to do is to program the belonging or some registers in PCI Express switches to move it around. And in case one of the hosts fails and you want to connect the SSDs or the devices connected to that host to another host, that can be done automatically as well and the surviving host can attach uh, the devices that were attached to a failing host to itself and control it uh, so that your system doesn't go down and the data stored in these devices uh, would not uh, get isolated from the main system. So here we are talking about another usage model which is more applicable to um, high-end data centers where the redundancy of the fabric and the redundancy of the host is very, very important. So you have these redundant systems connected together using non-transparent bridging capabilities and you have SSD banks or array of SSDs connected to each switch individually. They could work independently uh, of each other but at the same time have a connection to each other through a non-transparent port which allows the host isolation. If one of the hosts fails, for example in this case this host goes away, the host number one basically connects and takes over everything that is underneath it and, and controls the system and make the data available to the application. Now in, in another case when the fabric goes away, uh, let's say this red fabric goes away, then the host number two can go through the non-transparent port and still connect to the storage devices that are connected to this host. So it gives you redundancy for the host or the servers and it also gives you redundancy for the fabric. And this is available today in PCI Express Gen 3 speeds that you can use, PLX, uh, is the leading supplier of PCI Express switches in the market with over 65% market share. We provide software, we provide hardware, uh, reference platforms that you can use to build your own system. Uh, for example, I've, I have a reference board that I'll show you in a second that you can buy from PLX along with the software you need to start developing your software around it while you're developing your overall system. So here's an example of our rapid development kit that includes this hardware and we have separate hardware for each product that we ship. Uh, this hardware and the software that one can download from our website. Combine those two, it gives you an excellent platform to develop your software and use this as a reference to your hardware. Here underneath this heatsink, uh, our PCI Express Gen 3 switch uh, is, is, is installed and this switch connects to these slots. These are PCI Express slots uh, that you can connect uh, to an external system or you plug an add-in card uh, in the system to connect to our switch. Through cabling and adapter cards you can connect this entire system to a host uh, or, or to a mother server motherboard that has a PCI Express slot on it and then you can start developing your, your system. So this is an, this is an ex excellent tool available uh, to all our customers. Mm -hmm.